<laughs> Cooking up a plan on a barbecue fuelled by hydrogen. The Premier spruiked a new project. I think we need an apron for you from here. <laughs> The state government has negotiated an arrangement with Woodside to provide land here uh, for the construction of a major hydrogen plant that will be able to export hydrogen and ammonia uh, to markets overseas. Woodside's project, dubbed H2 Perth, will be built on 130 hectares of vacant industrial land in Quinana, with a starting cost of $1 billion, and is expected to create more than 2,000 construction jobs and ongoing operational positions. We see a number of opportunities with customers both within Western Australia as well as overseas uh, to progress this opportunity to produce a new uh, lower carbon type of energy. The first phase of the project will produce mostly blue hydrogen and around a third green. Blue hydrogen is produced from natural gas, whereas green is made using renewable energy like solar and wind. Woodside plans to introduce more renewables in future phases of the project. A Western Australian company here that is recognising that it has to make the transition uh, to clean fuel. While critics like WA's Conservation Council says the plan falls short because of its gas use, others say the staged approach is a step in the right direction. If you made hydrogen from renewable energy, it would be so expensive no one would buy it. Now, what Woodside have proposed is a way through that difficult problem. Woodside claims 100% of the project's carbon emission will be offset. Eliza Lashon, ABC News.